It's that history that Jay believes plays out today. And helps explain why we have such different reactions to colours. Meet Dalton. Meet Sam. They are squirrel monkeys that Jay has been working with for the last four years. Like all squirrel monkeys, when they arrived at Jay's lab, they were colorblind and couldn't see reds or greens. The squirrel monkeys have red-green color blindness. So the thing that red-green color blindness means is that these animals that have that, and humans too, they completely lack the sensations of either red or green. The good, big question was, does this change the way that the brain interprets the signals from the eye and so that they would actually have an experience of color vision that would be like what a human would? His team did something remarkable to these monkeys. They gave them the missing receptors in their eyes and allowed them to see the reds and greens which had been invisible. He wanted to find out whether having these new cones in their eyes would allow them to see new colors. All of a sudden, they were able to pick out those red dots and the green dots against the gray background. Probably the thing that amazed us the most, besides the fact that it worked at all, is that it seemed like that they were able to get this new color sensation immediately as soon as the new thing turned on. So somehow the brain was able to make some kind of sense out of this immediately. This was the moment when Jay could study in a lab something that happened nearly 40 million years ago. With their new sense of red-green color vision, Sam and Dalton could, for the first time, point to the green and red dots on the screen. And crucially, when it came to feeding time, they were able to associate colors with different colored food. And so over time, they learn to associate different colors with different objects, and now they kind of take on a lives of themselves, so they say, oh, this is a food I like, so I like red. But this is the key to how colors became connected to emotions. If the monkeys like red fruit, then they learn to associate the color red more generally with pleasure. And what that means for our sense of color is that the earliest colors we learned, blue and yellow, have hardwired emotional connections. Our associations with red and green, we've had to learn. So I think that maybe Red-green color vision is very different than blue-yellow color vision that's so deep inside of us that those emotions are driven by something that we were born with. The fact that the blues are kind of calming. And that's why that people make such a strong distinction between cool colors and warm colors as opposed to red and green because those are kind of very deep feelings that we're all born with. Whereas red-green is a modern thing that's completely a function of our cerebral cortex, and it's a learning process. It's just a little different buzz inside your head that it takes a lifetime to be able to associate different colors with their real meaning. <laughs> 